And welcome back to the long run where we're playing uh, Lunar Solar Star Harmony. Last time we got to Meridia, and um, after getting our faces pounded in by Hellmel, and then getting our faces pounded in for real in uh, another part of the sewer, um, we've made it to this point and uh, gotten our Dragon Diamond pilfered by a con artist of a uh, merchant. Also, hey Zero, how you doing? So let's see if that con artist lies beyond this door. That looks like him. Did they tell you had a dragon diamond on your shirt? There you are, thief! Give us back our diamond now! I don't know how you kids found it, but it doesn't matter. Because you won't be around for long enough to find your way back out. Come forth, my pet! It's speeding time! What the actual... Holy human fuck is this? Alex, what is it? Surprise, kids? I'm pretty amazed myself. I never knew my little pet would grow so quickly down here. Boy, but he'd come in so handy for getting rid of annoyances like you. Get ready, Alex. This pet look, look, looks like he's hungry. It has a bow. Aqua lizard hunger force. Let's go. Sword dance. Also, it's probably a good idea to um, get everyone healed up. You just do whatever. There's literally only one thing that you can do. Really. Next turn, I will have Luna uh, buff up Alex. Wow, really? So, so actually, there's nothing useful that uh, that Ramus can do. Also, hey, Jerry, and I didn't notice that. Was, I, you and Zero have the same uh, have the same text color, so it's easy to miss sometimes. Darn right, you do. You're just gonna keep cowering in the corner because, like, you had a direct hit and did no damage, so there's no point in you trying to fight. up even more and you just keep carrying really I, I crit which pushed him back to a point that I can't actually hit him you can't see me just see ya. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, is there anything else? No. 
I think you're just gonna attack. You just gotta keep defending. In the back row, I see. Okay, you keep doing that. Um, I'll have you use your Gallison actually. And you just keep coming. Does the main data do that you do not start doing from uh, side from front and side to side? We discovered um, a little bit ago that uh, if someone gets knocked down, there is a chance that Nal will bring them back up. Like in the middle of the fight. Uh, he is guaranteed to do so at the end of the fight, but may do so during. about to buff yourself. is managing to, to evade a lot of these. Didn't so much evade that one, but that's okay. That's not great. Our DPS is down. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm going to have you, Yen Song, on yourself. You're going to use the English too. Yeah, unfortunately we uh it's not particularly useful for us to have someone up his DPS doing zero damage. Probably Alex has lost his buffs at this point. Yeah, sure enough. Top up Alex. Because we've discovered how uh, how dangerous this uh, 
this body is. The aqua lizard. So dance. Uh, you do what feels best and you do Taking one for the team, apparently. Um, okay, so, Dance, you're going to run away. And you're going to use a healing mode. Oh, there we go. And as is tradition with this game, bosses are friggin' broke. Max levels up. Luna levels up. Famous levels up. Everyone levels up. Except Null. He can't level up. Uh, you know, kids? Can we talk about this? Hey, you kids are getting dangerously close to being my personal space. Okay, okay, this is all the money I have. Take it, it's yours. 500 bucks. 500? You agreed on a lot more than Vatros. I have an idea. You own your shop, don't you? Of course I do, so what? Because now I own it, Dros, in exchange for the diamond. That's a fair deal, right? Uh, sure it is. So I guess I'll be leaving with the diamond now. What do you mean? I sold the diamond to the shop. And since I own the shop, I own the diamond. If you don't agree with my logic, we can just keep you down here until you realize how much sense it makes. Not sure how I feel about this move, but also this guy we're dealing with is kind of a game. Famous, I know you've said you never heard these words before, so I'll be gentle. You are the man! You, you, ugh. If I think everyone deserves a second chance, Dross, I'll give you a job. But if I ever, ever catch you trying to scam someone again, you are so fired. Thank you so much. I'm turning over a new leaf. Nothing but us work for me from now on. I'll return to my, uh, your shop and start waxing the floors. I know I can't trust him, but he can teach me all he knows about business. Then I'll fire him. Jeez. Ruthless. <laughs> Ramus, you're totally ruthless. You're going to be a great businessman. I don't know about that. Now. I'm proud of you, Ramus. Let's get out of here and look around your new store. Ramus? Don't, uh, Ravis, don't tell me you're starting to like it down here. Alex, I, uh, forget it. You can keep my half of the money, Alex. Having the shop is more than enough. Let's continue this conversation above ground. I need fresh air and I need it now. Oh yes, there's no doubt about it now, is there? She is there. Okay, so it is going to let me actually uh, get out of here myself. Which is a good thing, because this is what I'm going to do. Uh, no, not system. Anyway. But first of all, we're going to use the rope thing to go back to the islands.
And um, you know what? Where you're going, you're not going to need any of this stuff anymore. Thank you again for showing mercy on me, Uranus. Oh, I almost forgot. There's someone here to see you. You're back! Excellent! I heard about your journey through the, through the sewers to find the diamond, and how you killed dozens of monsters along the way. You may not have any ma magical abilities, Alex, but you're still very strong. Strong enough to come to Vane with me. I'll introduce you to Gallia and get you, so get you into some classes at the Magic Guild. Think about it, Alex. You could finally u learn to use magic. What? Nash actually complimenting someone besides himself for once? Has Lunar completely frozen over like the blue star? Would you please let me finish, Cat? Thank you. As I was saying, Alex, despite your dubious choice in pets, I enjoy your company. I can see the enormous potential within you. The Magic Guild is always looking for people like us. People will want to take their potential and turn it into a skill. And if you come to the guild, you'll meet Gallian and Lemia. Two of the four heroes, Alex. Two of the people who fought alongside Dragon Master Dine. They may even be able to tell you more about the dragons. How do we do, Alex? Go with Nash or go home? You don't look at me, Alex. This is your life and your choice. But I promise to follow you, no matter where you go. Learning magic sounds a bit boring. Now uh, let's go to Vane. Excellent! Alex, you won't regret this decision. We should depart from Vane immediately. Alex, I'm gonna stay here in Meridia. Magic is way beyond my grasp. Not to mention I've uh, definitely had my fill of, ne of nearly getting killed by giant monsters. Besides, I'm a businessman now. I'll be too busy remodeling the store to go anywhere. Alex, promise me that have, you'll keep having great adventures. Hey, Ness, you have to come with us. I'll miss you. Hmm. I'm sorry, Noel, but I've already made up my mind. It is just not going to be the same without you to make fun of. <laughs> God damn, Noel. Take care, Remus, and good luck. And hey, it's not like we'll never see each other again. I want you guys to stop, uh, to stop by the store whenever you're in town. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for everything. So this is why he, would, he wouldn't level his stats. He was a businessman all along. Exactly. And that's also why I unequipped everything from him, because we're not going to have him again in the party. City of Freedom. Now this is the city of Meridia. Freedom is... Um, I don't know if there's a city of freedom per se in this, in this world. But, uh, I feel like you're making that up because, like, you literally just started. You don't look like you're quitting very fast. Also, don't worry about this guy. He's no longer in charge. This guy's in charge, so you should be worried about him. And dang way, we no longer have Ramus, but now we have Nash. Well, how are we doing on mine? Um, so I'm pretty sure that the um, the fire staff that we saw here, the fireball staff, 
is something for... yeah. Check out this door and see if there is anything for you. There is not. Let's go ahead and give you the fireball stuff. Ooh. Interesting. The, the fortune stuff massively increases luck. But um, I think we're more worried about strength for the most part. We're not going to sell the fortune stuff anyway. So in case, uh, in case that we ever need that extra luck for anything, we'll still have the fortune staff. He's more suited for business and combat. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, starlights are nice, but I'd rather just have a real thing. Actually, let's get a. Another healing tool as well, just for the moment. Now I wonder, now that we have a party of three, there was another section of um, of the sewer that we could access from this from the town hall, which kind of. Um, did us in the last time. But let's see if we can survive it a little better this time. And then we'll uh, start heading off to Vane. Let me go ahead and save first. Just keep everyone attacking them. Okay, there's a there's a red chest down here. Unfortunately, we still don't have a way to deal with red chests. Oops. Just noticed uh, Nash with his uh, little hair combing animation as his victory animation, because of course. I'm gonna start this uh, setup off the way I always do. Uh, the best thing you can do out of it. See what, let's see what Nash ends up doing with them. With Otto. Yeah. 
love them double kills. Ooh, nice crit. in the ring. Oh, well, considering all of the uh, all of the luck that uh, Nash lost by unequipping the fortune staff, let's give him the fortune ring and make it up. Oh wait, no, I just gave it to uh, There we go. That's what I'm gonna do. Still no idea how to open those uh, red chests. We will likely come upon a method to do so long after I've forgotten where all these red chests are. First you gotta get this pendant, then you gotta power it up, then you travel back in time. <laughs> now that's a different game that I've played. So I think our business in Moribia has concluded for now. Head out the gates. Oh. Need to use the transfer spring. Oh, okay. We are going the right way. Well, keep your eyes on the sky. Oh. Alright, let's see what we have access to here. We have Meridia, transfer spring. Nenza Pass, Althena Shrine. Also, something floating up in the air like that. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Let's check out Althena Shrine first. Let's pray to Alphine, I guess. Come to think of it, we've heard that uh, that Mel's uh, daughter Jessica is taking a break from the shrine to go visit her childhood friend, so she's probably not here. <laughs> Someone she likes. The green earth. That's a beauty and love. I mean, I don't think, uh, such a shame it is, a darn shame, that I'm not going to be able to join you and get myself killed. Yeah, I'm sure Vane will keep us all safe. Hopefully this is Facia. I 
think the wheel's spinning, but the hamster's dead. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, sister as in like sister and faith. My face is not even here. Nobody's here. Like. It's almost as though we're coming here out of order, and there's literally no reason for us to be here. Oh, don't don't put him down so quickly. Maybe maybe he can. the better set of pipes. You know, for this being an Althena statue, it sure isn't healing me. Maybe it's because I'm already at full health, I don't know. Anyhow, doesn't look like there's anything we can do here yet. Looks like there's something secret over here. Or over here. Nope, let's go. Let's, uh, let's poke into Nenza Pass, but uh, I get the distinct feeling like there's not going to be much that we can do. Maybe get this chest. A hundred monies. Risk life and limb for a hundred bucks. Let's see how this battle plays out. Oh. Hmm. That antlion just doesn't do anything. Interesting. Anyway, it looks like we're like we're gonna make it through this battle, but um, enemies here are kind of spongy, so. Uh, Probably best if we keep this for later. Definitely not where we need to be. Anyway, this is the, the transfer spring.
Well, that was a neat uh, cutscene. The magic city of Bane circles around the, go the Goddess Tower, like so, and protects the Goddess Althea. That's the magic city of Bane, huh? Does anyone t mind telling me how something that gigantic is floating around the sky to begin with? I'm so scared of that thing falling out of the sky and squishing me into jelly that I can't even sleep at night. No doubt, you're just napping off your fears during the day then, right? How did you... I mean, no, that's not the way it is, Cat. <laughs> Aren't you that Nash fellow from the Magic Guild? Right you are, sir. You see, kids, this is the difference between being an elite and a nobody. Everyone knows your name. <coughs> Excuse me, sir, we'll be using the spring, so I assume there are no qualms. Nash, of course you're free to use the spring as you like. Best for these two, however. These are my friends, sir, so I'm gonna have to insist that you let them use the spring too. I'm sorry, but with the rules of the magic emperor flying about, its use is not permitted for outsiders. Then his orders have restricted those uh, the specific persons from entering vain. However, if you have an application, that's an entirely different matter. You'll have to get an application to enter the magic guild from Feisha Althena Shrine. I see. I've heard those rumors about the Magic Emperor as well. Well, Nash, if you can't even, even get us into Bane, then you, then, then you must just be a small fry in the grand scheme of things. How about you shut up, Cat? Let's hurry and get an application from Faisha. Althena Shrine lies at the base of the mountain just to the west, so it shouldn't take much time. Back we go, then. And sign it in triplicate. Just go straight in. I'll go speak to Facia, so everyone everyone else wait right here. I wonder what Facia looks like. If she works for Althena, then she's gotta be a hottie. Are you blushing, Alex? I am the director of the Artena ドラゴンマスターを目指して旅をされているとお伺いました。本当に素晴らしいことですわ。ベンでいっぱいを勉強してアルテナ様をお守りする立派な勇者となってくださいね。I myself have also been distressed over this particular matter. Well, Alex has sent a quest to find the dragons. He's not really trying to join the Magic Guild. Is that so? Nevertheless, the path to become a Dragon Master is far more difficult than, it, than I think you can presently imagine, Alex. Rather than trying to do everything alone, I, can, I suggest that you consider studying at the Magic Guild. Two of the four heroes, Lemia and Gallium, would be able to give you guidance there as well. I am of the same opinion, Feisha, but as you can see, he's quite the stubborn kid. Oh well. I'm sure when he sees the splendor and majesty of the Magic Guild, he'll probably change his mind. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Please take some time to think it over, Alex. Here's an application for the Magic Guild, should you reconsider. There has also been talk that the Vile Tribe on the Frontier has, be has become active in recent days. Knowing that there are courageous people like you out there, Alex, is a very reassuring thought. I pray that you will fare well during your travels. Why, oh, yes, and Luna. I have been apprised by Nash that you have the most exquisite voice. Althena herself loves beautiful music above all else. 
it is not too much to ask, I would love to listen to your voice sometime when the time permits. You're too kind, Keisha. But it's really me who should uh, be asking you if, uh, if a song would be pleasing for you to hear. It would be my pleasure, then. Alright. So now we have our application. Also, we did take a few hits uh, when we tried to go into uh, uh, what's a pass. We can get a free heal right here. So we can heal at Althena Shrine, just not at the statue for some reason. Come to think of it, now that we have an application, I wonder if we can go to Meridia. To the Black Rose District there with that application. probably been to uh to Vane. He probably has studied there too, so I mean. Okay. I thought there was something there that we could enter, but apparently not. Worth a look. Let's go to Vane. Also, I like I keep I continue to find it interesting that they actually took out the um, the overworld. Like that, you can still, of course, travel around to locations, but it used to be that you, that you would have to like actually travel the overworld, like with most RPGs, and you would have random uh, random encounters on the map. Is that you again, Nash? It looks like you brought an application with you this time, too. Of course I did. This is all we need, right? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Please feel free to use the spring as you like. However, as you already know, those two must still pass through the Cave of Trial. Alex, prove your strength and pass through the Cave of Trial. That's the, that's the entrance exam to enter the Magic City. I'm gonna go on ahead and return to Vane. Is that supposed to mean that uh, she just gonna leave us high and dry? Unlike the rest of you, I don't have time to waste on such petty things. When you arrive in vain, make sure to stop by the Magic Guild. I'll see y'all later. Well, there he goes. Even if it is supposed to be just an exam, Alex isn't very skilled with magic. Do you think we'll be alright? Alex has mastered many skills through his own perseverance, so you can bet that that will be just fine. Let's get going. Let us first save. Not sure why that needed an extra fade out there, but uh, probably into this as, as you already have. Welcome, young travelers, bearers of the future of the Magic Guild. The Cave of Trial is a sacred place, and one which will test your utmost resolve. Therefore, the use of items is strictly forbidden within its walls. The trial must be overcome by relying on your strength alone. Oh boy. Okay, so we do get full heals right here. For my last email. What's the deal with this uh crystal? Would you like to fight this guy? Yeah. 
So it stands to reason that uh, the fights here have been scaled down a little bit to uh, make up for the fact that we're alone. Still, I have no idea what this crystal is. Alright, well thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. I guess that not using items applies as much to um, in the actual map as it does out, uh, during combat. Oh jeez. Oh fantastic. This is how we die. And they really want Luna to just take a nap. At least, um... Let's deal with you. Uh, you're gonna heal yourself. It's not particularly economical right now to use uh, to use tranquilizer, so we're going to avoid doing that unless I feel like we really need to. So a couple of you know, nah, 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 nah. and we're back up to full health. So he says just this once, so I'm guessing that uh, I'm guessing that he only gives the one heal, so I'm not gonna spend it right now. guys are not particularly strong. More than 18, less than 22, so probably 20 each. Miss. Oh. Got a crit off there. Actually, no. More than 21? And 22 are less, so 22 health it is. I don't know what 
you are. Also, there was a red chest over there, so um, I'm guessing that uh, this area is not uh, is not missable. Basically, you can come back here later. Ooh, nice. Nap. Hopefully that doesn't become a dirt nap. for this. Let's restore our MP as well. Ah. Ran out of range. The only way I'm going to reach this guy is through Soul Dance. You attack that one. And I guess uh, Luna would also have been able to reach this guy. At least this way we can reach I don't like that the uh, the other body was um, running after us as well. I don't like the name of that attack. It doesn't seem to have done anything this time, but... Is it just a poison? I mean, I say just, but like... Yeah, it's a poison. Alright. Sure enough, I, thanks to my limited memory, I forgot that that was about to happen. I'm just going to deal with all of you. You're gonna take a, an extra couple of hits. Ah. 
And now I just realized that, um, hmm. My connection died. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna finish this fight, and then I'm gonna stop the video and um, deal with that. Actually, I'll use that. There we go. And just to confirm, yeah, this one is just as locked as the other ones. Alright, let me go figure out this connection thing and probably heal my characters, and I'll be right back. Alright, we are back. Looks like that's about it, maybe? No? Hard to learn to spell to make cats fly. I mean, yeah, that seems like, uh. That seems like a criterion, honestly. to give up. At least, uh, at least this guy's motivation seems a little, uh, more altruistic. This is one's... Alright, I'm gonna guess that there is probably a boss here, so let's, uh, save the game. But before there is even a boss, there's got to be more enemies. Mew. Oh. Now we get to find out what this thing does. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of you. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's attacks with big move. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Some good experience from that. Now it's leveled up. You know that was up. from your money foods. And here's our boss. It looks like we can't go any further until unless we defeat this thing. Let's let's show him who's boss Alex. Ah yes and we uh we healed up from uh that level up. So, sorry, Vigor and Cascade Song on Alex. I think we're still up, it's just, uh, battle, the battle net client finally realized that there was an internet outage and, uh, decided to log me out for some reason. I don't know why it does that, 
Steam doesn't do that. I don't think Epic does that. And anyway, um, Sword Dance. And uh, I'm actually gonna have you fight out in the corner. It battled over the next second. Okay. Ooh, that's uh, that was a big hit. Flesh. I think I'll need... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the uh, regular healing sign and all of you. Oh, that's flash. I thought that was flesh bolt. I mean, considering uh, the rather gruesome nature of this enemy. there was an option for like repeat last action. That's a heavy damage. That's gonna do it. Alex levels up. Rina levels up. And of course, we don't get paid. <sighs> I'll never look at a mushroom the same way again. Is that when you pass this trial? I don't think I could fight any longer if we got hit with something else. Let's just head for that exit. I want to see if there's something over here. I mean, we just leveled up, so... Um, Alex is just not, uh... The super is just not charged. And I can only get three of these. Uh, you do whatever you feel, right? Yes, you should all bunch up together like that. Uh, I one decided to escape, so now I have no idea what I'm going to be attacking. But if they all bunch up like that, it's pretty sure that I'm going to be able to kill like most, if not all of them, in one hit. So it actually works out for Alex to be the last one to attack you. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case, but, uh... Yeah. Let's get rid of all of those dudes. There we go. 
lots of money from that. And sure enough, there is a chest that contains a healing ring. Hmm. Um, magic healing ring. I feel like the healer should probably wear the healing ring. Congratulations to you all! The trial to enter the Magic Guild ends here and your travails have been crowned with success! Now that you have exited the cave, you may use your items as before. From this day forward, you will all be recognized as full-fledged members of the Magic Guild. Hold your heads high with pride and work hard to become successful. A. Eh. Here we are, Alex, the magic city of Bane. Isn't it beautiful, Alex? I wonder where the magic guild that Nash was talking about is. Let's hurry and find the place, Alex. Do we get access to the super secret clubhouse now? I mean, if you call the magic guild the super secret club. I'm sorry, what? So like, I know Nash is kind of a, it's kind of a jerk off, but uh, is everyone going to be like that? Hopefully not. I mean, we found one so far. It's not nothing. Damn, we just got toys. Uh, I think we got plenty of work to do. Where, where is Yishtol when you need it? Zeon the Mighty Gale, Roka the Iron Hand, Isha and Lina the Twin Sisters, Sazanado the Bike Swordsman. Goodbye to grass stains. So I hidden money in this book. Man, all of this knowledge is paying off. Hangover remedies and other uses for sheet bladders. Reading Raymer never taught me this. So I'm not magical, this is, I'm not entirely guaranteed to work or, or you'll suffer an incredibly painful fall. I'm not entirely sure if this is mentioned and I'm also not entirely sure if this is a thing, but I feel like there's a lot 
in this game that at least implies that Lunar is actually our moon and the um, the silver star that or that orbits it is actually Earth, which is at this point in an ice age. I'm not again. I'm not sure if that's actually the thing, but uh, I think it is. Back in the room, yeah. Oh no, this is the uh, the trial, the trial exit. This is the best item shop in all of it. It's also the only one, so. Kinda wins by default, doesn't it? Ooh, that's... that's pricey. Yikes. Okay. Also, probably good to have a couple of angel tears. The holy waters. We're not going to be able to afford these anytime soon. Not with the profits we get from bosses, yeah, exactly. Well, we already have the fireball staff. Fireball staff. I do kind of wish that there was a button that just allowed me to um, REM rod. Does it does it allow you to um, to summon a spotlight in a corner and lose your religion? Will it bring forth the end of the world as we know it and leave us feeling fine? Got, uh, maybe I didn't. Or oh, whatever. Maybe getting weapons already. Road. Okay, hang on. You can equip the silver banker. You can't equip the silver banker. You also can't equip the silver shield. Well, nuts. Anyway. Maybe Nash is gonna be able to rip some of this stuff. Yeah, they probably have like artificial gravity that makes uh, makes it so we don't feel the tower orbiting uh, the the city orbiting the tower. Let's 
experimenting with magic, you say? He's a total hound. So what even happened to Dragon Master Dine anyway? Like, I don't think there's anything that says that like he was killed or anything. He just kind of left behind his sword and disappeared at some point. Go out and touch grass, kid. This won't tell you. The two opposite ends of the spectrum. I need to be the very best. I want to go home. That's what I want for my boy. Borderline squid. I actually come to think that since this, uh, since this place is symmetrical, I don't think I've been to... Well, this wasn't as symmetrical as I thought, but there's still a uh, thing here. He's the bad man in charge of the bio tribe. <laughs> Gotta punch him in the head until he's my friend. Oh my. Quite again today to tell my husband about my affair with the milkman, the garbage man, and the Magic Guild University debate squad. <laughs> yeah, let's put this right back where we found it and never speak of it again. Polyamory is cool. It's fine. Okay, so this should take us back to the surface. So now we can just go back to the surface and not have to worry about the, uh, the Cave of Trial again. Look straight to Vane. Which I still don't understand why there's a fade out here. I think we've pretty much explored everything on this screen. And this is probably the Magic Guild. Move it! Get out of the way! I always left again that if I'm late to one more class, I'll be held back in here! Yeah, 
the sole daughter of Lenya Elsa. Leader of the Magic Guild. Okay, Lenya is the leader. Wait a minute, Mia, we've seen that name before, haven't we? Is Luna getting jealous? Ooh, secret rituals. Silver Spire. Just know there's something cool inside. Hello, Alex. I'm glad you finally made it. What do you think of Vayne? Breathtaking, isn't it? Galleon is occupied at the moment, so I'll escort you to the parlor. Actually, we'd rather look around the Magic Guild, wouldn't we, Alex? Actually, yes. Alright then, suit yourselves. Luna, would you also care to wander the Guild's halls? Perhaps later. Right now, sitting down and getting off my feet sounds wonderful. Then I'll give you- Then I'll just have to give you a private tour of the Magic Guild sometime, Luna. Alex, come on upstairs whenever you're ready to meet with Galleon. Alex, this place is huge! I hope we don't get lost. I'll come for you when Galleon's ready. If you need anything in the meantime, Luna, please let me know. Thank you, Nash. I will. Beautifully, sir, but may I ask how you came to learn that melody? Dain composed it when he was a boy, before he became a dragon master. Dragon master Dain wrote that? Alex never told me. Why am I not? Why am I always the last person to know these things? Damn it! I'm certain this Alex probably was just sending her this piece. I don't need to get unnecessarily upset. It doesn't become you. You must be a new student here. It's quite a fetching What? Uh, oh no, I'm, I don't have any magical abilities. I've traveled here with Alex. He's on a quest to become the Dragon Master. We already met Pork, the White Dragon. And we're here to learn the locations of the other three. What about you? Perhaps you're on a quest to be our own. You may not even know that's what you're searching for. At least, not yet. No, no, I'm not... Wait, the dream. I keep having the same dream, but it doesn't feel quite like a dream, and it doesn't make any sense to me. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to ramble on with someone I just met. I don't apologize. Everyone wants to understand themselves and to know who they are. But not everyone is prepared for what they ultimately discover. Ah, I... Are you prepared for your journey to stop? I... I think I need to sit down and feel weak. Where should we go first, Alex? Yes, a bit weak in the knees after meeting that handsome man. I feel like everyone on this, uh, everyone on this floating island is just really hot. Wait, why would we have just randomly blurted out that we were going to be a Dragon Master to this random student? We probably are. We probably aren't. <sighs> Get the heck out. It's just so evil that the students bring her puppy seed instead of apples. Because, I mean... We, we got that, uh, that mysterious man is super hot. Apparently Mia is super hot. Nash. Uh, Jessica is super hot. She's not from here though. So before we go upstairs, we should probably explore all we can downstairs. It's the dungeon of the guild. So this is a surface level utopia, is what you're saying? So what are you in here for? You're in here because you said that the goddess is no longer in her tower. Oh my. Yeah, we're uh, letting the, the, the words fly here. Hmm. The random ass dungeon in this city and there is an empty place there I wonder what that means special attention to this person Fair enough.
I mean, we're, we're technically students. Only enough to, like, allow us to be in here. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a particularly fun place to be. Sounds important, yeah. Fair oh, you're the guy who was rushing into glass. We're looking for dragons. Excuse me. Are you a dragon, sir? No? Alright then. So that uh, that door where Nash was standing is probably where we need to go. Those over here. What about you, Zero? Do you like happy people? We've already been here. No! I mean, yes. You know what? We're we're under orders to not let anyone in here. So just go in here and I we don't care. So this is apparently what a girl's room looks like. At least one who's very rich. This ain't a bit awkward. Hi. I think we came at a bad time. Kimun Oh, I hope I haven't asked you anything too personal. It's just that I've been, it's been so long since I've met someone who, was, who wasn't in a magic world. So hopefully you'll forgive my curiosity. I'm Noel and this is Alex. Sorry about barging in. We came here to talk about uh, to talk to Galleon, who was going to tell us where to find the dragons. He couldn't talk to us right away, so we decided to explore the guild, and that's when we found you. You're looking for the dragons? How exciting! It is, but we've only found the white dragon so far. Hey, why don't you come along with us? I know you'd have a lot of. We're just going to randomly invite this person. Adventure? Me? No, I, I'm sorry, it's not familiar, I'm afraid. You can't? Oh well, I had to ask. 
I mean, what adventurers wouldn't want a beautiful girl by their side? <laughs> Thank you, Nami. I'm flattered. Ah, you, you're even cuter with a smile on your face, isn't she, Alex? Well, let's, let's, uh, tone it down a little bit. <laughs> let's stop it. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing in here? How dare you enter Mia's room without permission? Who do you think she is? You're not allowed to speak to her, much less violate the sanctity of her bedchamber. What are you doing in here? Mia's a daughter of Lemia, and the future leader of the Magic Guild. Ash, these people aren't... I apologize for this, Mia. I should never have let these slovenly hicks wander around the guild unsupervised. I take full responsibility for this invasion of privacy, and I beg your forgiveness. Ash, will you please... Galleon will see you now. Come quickly. <laughs> Hi, Mia. Take care. Do I have to spell it out for you two? Q-U-I-C-K-L-Y. Quickly! Goodbye. So, um... So, Nash... Can you, um... Explain why and how you have this thing. So yes, that is where we saw Mia before. And um, Nash just casually carries around a picture of her with him all at all times. It's uh, a little creepy. Let's be real. This is the room where, um, where Luna was uh, sitting for a while. Looking good while doing it as mine. Alex, where have you been? Galleon's been waiting for you for, for some time now. These two wandering places did where they most definitely should not have been, Luna. You made friends with a girl named Mia. We'll introduce you, uh, we'll introduce you to her if you like. First of all, you know I love meeting new people. Why don't you people focus off your attention on the business at hand? You've been granted an audience with Galleon, the great sage of the Mage Guild, or the Magic Guild. Why don't you meet him first? Master Galleon, these are the adventurers I, I mentioned to you earlier. Alex, Luna, and all. You were the one from before. ようこそ It has come to my ears that you are in search of the dragons to become a dragon master. If I the first is true, I'm sure luck must have been on your side in order to, for you to overcome the trial of the white dragon. Luck had nothing to do with it. Alex passed on his own merit. So this is merit, was it? Oh, please forgive my mistakes. 
Assuredly, there's uh, there seems to be a magical ability em emanating from within both you and me. Instead of searching for violence, why not endeavor to study magic here in the I'm sure that you would find it far more possible for the future. Um, we're kind of single-minded on this whole dragon thing, so we're gonna stick with that. I appreciate your generous offer, but I intend to continue my travels in search of the dragons. Certainly, seem to have made up your mind. Applause your determination. If such is your will, then my thought is to consign this case to your child. Have you honestly considered letting them handle such an important case? Yes. Of course, I had in mind that you would accompany them. Me accompany them? Absolutely. If that is your wish, Master Galleon, then please do everything to me. I will have a room prepared for you. Let's please rest here this moment. For on the morrow, I will press that this single task be accomplished by your hand. I have high expectations for you. Now it's not good. This is Galleon, one of the four heroes who asked, him, who asked us to help him. I don't think I can sleep. Magic Kill is kind of creepy and thrilling at night. Maybe we should have asked Luna to come too. Maybe. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Luna's staying in the school's female dormitory. Can't imagine what kind of confusion that place would be thrown into if you showed up, Alex. I'll go call her along with Mia. I'll send. Let's go have a look, see Alex. The sound is so beautiful. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I know it's terribly rude of, you, of me to ask the legendary galleon, but would you mind playing your song again? Not at all. I started playing because I would I wanted to understand the mood of songs and music, but even today I've unfortunately been unable to grasp its essence. I don't think there's anything unfortunate about the way you play. The sound of your playing is incredible. And music isn't something that you should use your head for anyway. It's something that comes from within. Yeah. Those were the very words of Behind the sun. Is that really true? I feel eager, interested. Ah, I feel increasingly eager to listen to your music performance. Luna? Alex. Alex? How long have you been standing there? So, this is where you were, Luna? What were you doing here with Galleon? Hmm? What was I doing? I couldn't sleep, so I went out for a walk and I heard someone playing music, so... What about the two of you, Alex? No? What are you doing up so late? You're out for a midnight stroll, right, Alex? Yeah, right. I'm sure your head is running wild. Thoughts of what tomorrow's adventure will bring. I understand. Being too excited to sleep, but you should at least try to rest. Yes, Master Gal. After everything is, is after everything has been taken care of, I'd love to spend some time listening to your music. I'm really looking forward to hearing both the buffing. Good morning, Alice. It appears as though you didn't sleep well last night. It doesn't come as a surprise. Dine and myself were once very much the same. Without a side, the case which I uh, the case which I wish to consign to your charge is the following. I have received word that there are dragon and, uh, a dragon and dragon master 
who reside on an island near land. I imagine that since you are in search of the dragons, this information will prove of worth to you. Nash, assist Alex in any way he deems necessary. Yes, Master Gallion. Please get a full account of the details from my steward. I trust you will not disappoint us. Um, actually, is your steward the dude that was in the room with you? Because we should probably talk to him just for the moment. Got- mm. Okay, Alex, stay in the room. Because if you do disappoint us, you will not like what happens. Of course, from the land of men, claiming to be the Dragon Master, unfortunately, of course, and he possesses, possesses one of the dragons. Okay, where is Lan? And fishing village northwest of Vane beyond the lands of area. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like our travels are gonna be taking us beyond the lands of area. So hopefully we will be ready for that journey, especially with the new equipment that we just got. I don't know if there's new equipment for, I don't think there's new equipment for um, Nash, and quite frankly we probably can't really afford it anyway. So it is down to the surface that we return. And it is to Nenza Pass that we shall be traveling on the next stream. So, thank y'all for watching. Thanks to uh, Ricky, Zero, and Tyrion for hanging out. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic uh, Daylight Time. Is it still going to be Daylight Time? That's uh, yeah, it's still for another week and a half. Anyway, that's going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, where we shall proceed to Nenza Pass and see what lies beyond. But thank y'all for watching. I'm Colier, if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.